What's going on Babylonians? It's me, Songs of Rays, back with another Outriders World Slayer video to bring to you. And today we're going to be covering another weapon guide, and that is going to be for the Thunderclap Automatic Shotgun. Before we go into it, make sure you have dropped a like and subscribe on the video. It really does help the channel out, and let's find out what makes this so shocking. Alright, so as always, let's have a look into the gun and the stats, and then we'll have a look into what makes the mod so special. So this one is the Thunderclap. It is a narrow variant of the automatic shotgun, and that means that it has a lower clip size, but it does more damage. Uh, so therefore, this one has a 10-round uh, magazine. It has 240 RPM. Uh, it has a decent 26,099 damage, and this is at a firepower 193,450. Two second reload, 139% crit multiplier, and the accuracy and stability are fairly decent and the range is kind of pitiful because it is a shotgun after all. Now in terms of attributes, this does roll with crit damage, close range damage, and healing received. Pretty much almost ex almost exactly what you need, but it kind of tends it towards going towards a trickster rather than a devastator because it does roll with that crit damage rather than armor pierce. Now armor pierce pretty much is always there for, you kind of always want to have armor pierce for a devastator, mainly because uh, they don't have a rounds based ability to be able to actually be able to pierce through the armor. So therefore crit damage is primarily going to be used on your trickster, uh, so therefore this is kind of gra gravitating towards that kind of thing but you can get some work done with your devastator as well but enough about the gun you're interested to hear about the tier 3 mod now the tier 3 mod is nicola's revenge and this is shots link up to five enemies within a four meter radius around the initial target dealing 424,371 points of damage over two seconds to each of them as long as the initial target is alive very interesting very kind of unique in the way that it's approaching now the way that this is kind of kind of worded and kind of described to us is that uh, it's it's kind of there as a weird version of strings of gorse so the idea with this is that you you're doing a strings of gorse tied with ultimate damage link in a way in a sense because you, you're firing this on the initial target and as long as some other targets are nearby they all get instantly chained with this and they take so much damage over time as long as that first person that you're shooting at doesn't necessarily die from this from you continually shooting or from the actual mod itself. So how do you get the most out of this mod? Well that kind of means that you have to shoot the target to be able to get this to be able to trigger in the first place they have to have a group of enemies nearby them as well and then as soon as you've shot it the once to be able to actually get this to trigger you then need to swap to another target to be able to actually take full advantage of the damage over time by keeping that initial target alive. So what's interesting to note on this mod is the fact that it doesn't state a cooldown. Now from what I can tell from the gameplay and from, from the uh, the breakdown that I've actually done so far is that as long as the uh, the initial target is still alive you can't necessarily trigger this once again. It's basically it's stuck to that initial target and that's basically what it's going to do at least for the first two seconds and then it seems that you can actually cast it again. So if you do actually kill something within those two seconds I believe it can be recast but the yeah, the, the research that I managed to do on this was kind of inconclusive, uh, so therefore it does feel like maybe it is a two second cooldown, it's just not stated on the item card, but we'll, we'll, we'll look into the gameplay, like I said, it, it doesn't seem to trigger unless there's some other there enemies nearby, and then that just makes it so inconsistent to actually be able to test for this. Now the damage itself is kind of on the low side for something of this kind of item card. Um, while it will actually do a decent some damage and it will kind of like trickle enemies health down to make them a little bit easier as soon as you then actually go to the to like focus on them to be able to actually start killing them it just doesn't offer enough in a way it's it's almost like this mod was designed to be able to actually do a trickle amount of damage so you actually do get the kills and then you can actually like refill your magazine whether it be for firepower devastator or whether it be through tricksters to be able to actually uh, get so much of their magazine back every single time they get a kill same with like firepower technomancers etc etc it's it's almost like it was designed with that in mind and therefore we can kind of appreciate that that's what the devs were trying to do but unfortunately we have no confirmation on that as for whether I would actually have this mod in most of my guns, I, I just don't feel like it offers enough. Maybe this could be used on a uh, Firepower Technomancer as like an alternative to Bone Shrapnel for when we had that as Tier 2, but then the target that you're, the initial target that you're going to be shooting at isn't necessarily going to be surviving for 2 seconds, which means that they're never going to really see the benefit of this mod, and I feel that's where this kind of falls down, is the fact that it relies enemies to actually slowly be killed to actually get the full benefit of this mod. Now the only class that I can think of that really does, uh, does that in spades is Firepower Devastator, and even then, why would they ever use this when they've got something like Ultimate Damage Link, which allows them to be able to actually take out enemies quite quickly, and for the absolute slew of really good tier 3 mods that are now available to them, 
why would you ever kind of like pick this? You necessarily wouldn't. So therefore, I do feel like this could do with a buff. I feel like this could potentially do with something, maybe even cutting the down, like the time that it takes to be able to do all that damage, like by half. So it actually it's done even faster, or maybe just just a standard buffing the damage. Something along those lines would actually go a long way. I feel. So that pretty much wraps up everything to do with the Thunderclapper. I mean, there's not much to talk about it. It just pretty much does what it says on the item card. And what it does on the item card isn't necessarily very good. Like I say, it's not a bad mod to actually have if you do roll this as an apocalypse roll, for example. It's not going to really like destroy your build or anything like that, but there are definitely better options out there. And uh, I, for one, would like to actually see this get a little bit more of a treatment towards it. Thank you all so much for making your way to the end of the video. It really does mean the world to us. Thank you all so much to the Babylonian family, as always. If you did learn anything with us, make sure you have dropped a like and a subscribe. It really does mean the world to us. And make sure you actually drop a comment just to let us know what are your thoughts on the, uh, the Tier 3 mod, as well as the Thunderclap shotgun. That just leaves me to say, keep yourself safe, keep yourselves well, and I'll see you all on our next video.